Hey everybody, welcome back to Midnight Suns. This is our third Morbius mission called Here Comes the Sun. As the sun rises over New York City, the heroes must face a new breed of vampire. It's Morbius. It's Blade. Is that it? I don't know. The candles are floating. As they do. Getting word of another attack. Vampires in Central Park. Right before dawn. Can you imagine? Dawn? I knew this was coming. Just not so soon. The city is in enough chaos. We'll handle it. No problem. Ah, Blade. Ever the optimist, hmm? Okay, we actually do have a third. How do we not take the hunter on a story mission? How do we how do we not? We have to. Let's go um overdrive serum here. And uh, we changed Morbius' deck a bit to include that Savage Swipe and a Cornered. We dropped one Mist Form. Now, I know these charms are, like, kind of, you know, they're cool because it's Mind Control, and I like that. They're not the greatest card in the world, but we're still going to rock them because we we'll do this whole Mind Control thing. And we'll keep the Mind Breaker in there, too. Uh, we'll take the Overdrive Serum so we can play all these things. And then we have uh, Blaze deck, as you see here. Let's go. Nothing to say. Okay, toodles. Well, let's go. That's because they got that juice. The Morbius the juice. Year, its disciples have come in many forms. Okay, we have a feeding frenzy. We've seen this. We also have a hemolisk. Six turn, nine turn timer happening there. They'll have to cancel their picnics and ball games for today. <laughs> oh, nice. Worried about surviving. As they should be. We'll take a little make them bleed here. If we uh, bleed these guys, they get marked, right? Yeah, Curse of the Daywalker is there. Wish I would have had this one for the extra heroism, but it's fine. It's fine. 25% chance for vulnerable as well. Let's throw this here. Here and here. So we get the mark on those big guys. Let's see if we can do anything with that. Okay, this guy's only marked for one, but he got two bleeds, so he's marked for two. Is that what happened there? I think so. But why didn't he take that? I think maybe cold-blooded procced another one, which is why that went that way. Okay, so what I could do... We could Daywalker. And... Get a bunch of card draw. Then that's my last card play, but I do need to clear out all these minions. If the target has bleed, this becomes quick. Um, but we already have the refunds here, and I can't get the damage out to do that. Okay, let's think about this. We do have a free Mindbender, obviously. We could use that to clear up a couple. Oh, he's going to attack the Hemalisk. Ah! He's going to attack the Hemalisk. <laughs> My bad. My bad. My bad. It's fine. I mean, we still need that damage, so it's not the end of the world, but here we are. I guess I could go, like, Annihilation here. 
I get the card play back. It's a bunch of damage to the Hemolisk. And, uh... Yeah, okay. They do not stand a chance. So now I'm left to blowing these guys up with this thing, which is fine. I have this, or a shove. We have a shove. This guy probably still acts, but he's marked for next turn. I think I might actually just go... Well, let's just double check to make sure I don't, I'm not missing something. Yeah. I guess we'll go make him bleed here, but this thing's gonna pop, but then it's gonna die. Up for these jumps. That mine better could have been uh, better. Could have been mine better. Interesting. This doesn't really help him here. What else do I have here? Let's go uh, Neural Enhancer. What? Should get the blood pumping. For next turn. Is that really gonna hit hurt my citizen? No. Will that really hurt him? I'm gonna find out. Oh my god. Okay, he's fine. He's cool. This guy has a little uh, frenzy meter as well. Funny enough. We'll have to keep track of that. This one too. Damn. Uh, I don't have any moves to deal with that at the moment. We can take him out next turn, though, so it's not a big deal. I'm just trying to mitigate damage right now. Looks like Blade's going to hit get hit twice, but then he is going to have Hunger. Ooh. This will do. This is cheaper. And then it spreads our damage out a little bit more. You've left me no choice. All right. Let's let her buck. Man, those are two good cards for them to bleed. Okay, he's down to 263. I know this must pain you. To see your turf overrun like this. All that work. So we'll get this card play back. In honesty, I heard you fight harder Wait. when you're angry. Oh my god. Myself, doctor. As you can see, he doesn't always buy it. What a brutal miscalculation there. Man. That sucks. I think we can still get out of this with a discard. Don't play. So now we'll do a shove here. That's close too, man. Okay, and then Savage swipe this guy. Man, I swear I looked at that, but I, d I didn't do it correctly. <laughs> that much is obvious. Yeah, see, there's the juice.
God, they're ugly. Okay, we have to defeat Dracula. He can counter the bleeding attackers, and then he recovers health whenever he damages a bleeding character. So, the wait is finally over. Okay, there are some big How boy long cards. Has it been since you felt the sun on your face, Dracula? Centuries, the better part of a millennium, in fact. But you already knew that, Blade. And thanks to your unlikely ally, Doctor Marius, I will bask in the dawn for eternity. I cannot allow that. I mean, we might as well use them. We might as well use them. How close are we to Obsidian? One. Okay. Do I have any freebies? Not really. I can redraw for fast here. I don't think I'm going to use two charms. That helps with the Shadow Strike. Oh, there's a free Mindbender. Love that for us. Couple ways we could think about this. Blade, I think we're going to just try and clean this up a bit. And then we actually have a decent... Opportunity here. I don't know if this is gonna work. I can hit two. Let me see what Blade's got. Can he hit all three? No, we can't hit all three. Okay. Hmm. Let's use Hunter to clear this guy. And then, how do we want to handle the Mindbender here? Because he's going to attack this guy, right? My next attack on him is going to be big. I think I got to play Mindbender. And then I'll have like a 800 damage wild strike. This could be nice too, where we have a 50% chance to apply vulnerable. Like, if I just dump this into him and hope that one of those triggers it, it'd be kind of cool. All right. We're going to try and clear some of the fluff. So what I'm thinking is, I go, um... Yeah, that'll work for me. That actually works great. Now that he's marked, this becomes free. Now, we're not applying bleed here, which is good, but if we could apply vulnerable, that would be excellent. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Is this what you yeah, Okay. So now we go Obsidian Caller. The advantage is mine. 
800. Almost clears him. And it'll apply marked, so actually... Check this out. I think you got him. Couple things we could do. I need to put two in there, don't I? Oh no, because he's vulnerable. One, and then two here. So he's marked, we get this card play back. He starts bleeding, he gets marked. He's down once, we're gonna have to take him again. Now let that be a lesson to you. Dracula, this is where you go down, my friend. Now 324. We could use our crit last sight. Uh, the lifesteal could be good here. Just to get him topped up a little bit. We have his bloodlust as well. Thing with the bloodlust, do we want him applying bleed to Dracula? That's where maybe we actually don't want to bloodlust. Hmm. Because, like, this would be good if we can get a bunch of stacks of bleed on Dracula. The problem is, to put those on is going to require us potentially getting uh, counterattacked, right? With Blood Rage. Oh, okay. I think we save a Daywalker here for next turn, and then we can apply a bunch of Vulnerable to him. That would be good. We'll do this for now. Just to keep things simple. I feel more like myself every day. That was a nice little run for the hunter there. There's not much else I can do. And I'm gonna keep all of these because it depends what happens here. Okay, so he's back, but I honestly think we can just destroy him. The power to rule the day just as easily as we rule the night. You rule the night? Maybe it's some rat hole in Transylvania, but New York is my town. That is all about to change. Just as it began, your legacy ends with the rising sun. So what I'm going to do is put one here, two on him, so we get two vulnerable in case we can't finish him. And then we'll clear out another one just so we get more card draw. I don't know if we're going to find a way to use Berserk here. It's just not enough enemies at the moment. Okay, Glaive's cool. Doesn't help us a ton here. Well, actually, that's a lie. It's misleading because of the vulnerable. Here it comes. Let's do this. We'll do a nice little hero combo into a glaive, and he's going to be gone, honestly. Let's work together. about you were correct uh maybe we'll feeding frenzy so we finish it with a morbius attack you should never have come here now that was something not bad man Children, you disappoint us, betray us, shed the blood of your own. No one hurts you more than family. 
Join us in the light. We won't ask again. Hmm. You won't. But not for the reason you think. I don't understand. Why aren't you? To mass produce the serum, you diluted my sample. Yes, it protected you from the sunlight, but each use of your powers burned more of it away. You are, as they say, running on fumes. And when those expire, so do you. This isn't over. It is, for now. Unless you'd care to stay for a walk in the park. Follow him. Back to the sewer where he belongs. Are you disappointed we didn't destroy him? Nah, he always comes back. But knowing he's got to live with that humiliation almost makes it worth knowing you. That was pretty solid. We could have let him act a little bit. Um, we did that in the Venom DLC. But, um, I mean, if we can punish him now, we will. I love Morbius's look. This one's very cool. Blades up there. Better research here. Talk to Morbs. You got it. Oh, not even in here. It's just out here waiting for Manhattan me. Manhattan really comes alive at night. As do I. Congratulations, Hunter. Dracula's vampires suffered a major loss today. You deserve the credit, Doctor. You did good work today. The sunlight serum is so diluted it no longer poses a threat. The vampires have been cast back into the night where they belong. I don't think I can properly express my relief. Hunter, if you had not been there to lean on throughout all this, I do not know how I would have survived. This is a small victory and worth celebrating, but a greater threat still looms over us. Of course. I may be getting too far ahead of myself. Hunter, you should know that I will remain committed to the Midnight Sun's greater mission. You all helped me in my time of need. It is only fair that I return the favor. Your support is much appreciated. Marvelous. But before we move on, we must make one final decision regarding the Sunlight Serum. We? Oh, yes. I value your guidance. My prototype sample is no more. But I still possess my research notes. I could continue my experiments in the hopes of curing myself and maybe others. Unless the risk of it falling into the wrong hands seems too great. Hmm. If a cure is possible, you should continue to look for it. If someone tries to exploit your research again, we will be here to stop them. I was hoping you would feel that way. I can't wait to get back to work. After this business with Lilith is settled, of course. Thank you for your help, Hunter. So this all seems to be leading towards a larger... Hey, kind of ending. Pointing Doesn't towards the end of the DLC. Of the can't believe I'm saying this aloud, but I think I figured out Dracula's master plan. Go on. There is a Lilith connection, but it's not direct. 
Dracula is acting like he knows the world is coming to an end. Didn't expect him to be an apocalypse prepper, but here we are. Think of every play he's backed so far. Some of his plans overlap, right? I had noticed that. That's because he's throwing everything at the wall to see what sticks. It doesn't matter what plans fail. As long as one succeeds, he wins. The good news is, we're foiling his plans faster than he's setting them in motion. If we keep nipping these buds, he'll have nothing left. Let's debrief on the latest. Looks like Dracula's plan went up in smoke. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. I do. Is the sunlight serum truly gone? Dracula still has a supply, but it's barely effective, as you experienced. For a master plan, this one was a real dud. If sunlight serum remains in the world, we need to find and destroy it. If we weren't also fighting a little your contradictory, mom, but sure, it's fine. But a wild goose chase is the last thing we need. Instead, we keep an ear out for the goose. Central is tracking all mention of the sunlight serum or anything like it. Unless it finds something, I think we're done here. Anything else on your mind? Thanks, Carol. See ya. You were right, Blade. Morbius proved very useful today. You know, even I'm impressed that he stared down Dracula. So, did the two of you bury the hatchet? We're not exactly friends, but I appreciate his experience in the field. Sounds like someone is developing a grudging respect for the living vampire. Okay, sure. Just don't tell him I said that. You know, grudging respect is the first step to real friendship. It's time to drop this, Hunter. <laughs> it seems we can finally put this ordeal with Morbius' serum behind us. Thankfully, we have more important things to focus on now. Hunter, thank you for not being overly harsh with Morbius. I only did what seemed to be right at the time. I would say you are wise beyond your years, but you have more years than most of us put together. Maybe that's what makes you so discerning. And still no wrinkles. Indeed. I am just glad that Morbius found some peace of mind. I am familiar with that journey. It's not easy. Be proud of your part in that, Hunter. Okay. So, we're going to rest up. We need to... Once, my failure of science has worked to our advantage. Ouch. Uh, we're going to check... We didn't check his uh, laboratory setup, by the way. I only built it and then never saw how to use it. And I'm very interested in it. So I'm going to go there immediately. Bonazua. Music box, uh, legendary. Sure. Calming inner demon. Sure. Advanced photography. Why not? Okay. So... The laboratory allows here to purchase modifications to their primary and secondary stats. A random new stat of modifications will become available every few days. An apple a day. That's cool. Away. And they can only participate in an experiment every three days. apples. Knockback distance. Area abilities. Okay, so these are trade-offs. Interesting. I like that there's a trade-off there because otherwise you're just you could just power level, right? Who do we want to throw in here? Just to try it. Knockback strength, I feel like would be pretty good for him. And also his willpower is at zero, so maybe if you get the right combination, you could kind of keep doing that. But if you look at somebody like, let's say. Oh, the hunter can't go in here. Fair enough. No rush. So I'm here, because she has some willpower built up. But let's give him the strength. The science happens immediately. Best if I don't explain it. That's cool. Hunter, how goes it? Okay, so now we've got dread mark. Apply one mark to all reinforcements for two turns. Very nice. And get this. So. Uh, purchase advanced secondary stat modifications for heroes. How's it going, boss? 
make something great out of this. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Oh, echolocate. Another magical mystery box. This didn't pop Did as a new one. I used to design sentient future tech. Uh, but this is new, because we don't have it. Always a pleasure. I thought we were missing one. Okay, so apply marked and weak and do 148 damage is pretty good. If they bleed, if they're bleeding, they're going to take an extra chunk of damage there. What's nice about this is you have the damage. If it, if it was just apply weak and marked, I probably wouldn't use it as much. But even in this case too, like I tend to not use cards like this as often because I just I need to be killing every time maybe on a, a different difficulty but here like if they have bleed that's still a ton of damage so you could build him out where he's got a couple of echo locates you have um the claws here even just for big damage right like this is actually a common card that will do more damage than uh this one but this one applies weak and marked which uh, understandably marked is very strong but this is insane, right? So if you're going to go this build, you just need damage output. You probably take echolocates, uh, marks, and um, feeding frenzies for your ultimate. Maybe go into... Maybe you stay away from mist form. Because mist form is cool for the conceal, and it doesn't need to be any stronger than that. The fact that it adds, like, 59 damage is just, like, a nice to have. But the fact that it conceals is such a nice save. But if you bring somebody like Doctor Strange, you don't even need that. Um, so you could... You, the cool thing about Morbius is you can build him out in a bunch of different ways, it seems. And that's cool. Um, let's see. I think that's it for Morbius. Admittedly, a little bit of an anticlimactic ending for him, but it, it does seem like everything is pushing us towards the end of the, the DLC with this kind of vampire Dracula situation, and uh, I'm excited to see where that goes. If I had to rate the current um, three releases of DLCs from top to bottom, I would say Venom number one by far. He's just... His skill set is really fun to play he's very powerful he's got a cool meter that's a little bit different and he's got a whole bunch of different types of moves and um i think that's really cool i i would say second is deadpool i feel like the writing in that dlc was the best the storyline was the best that's when we got introduced to all these new enemies and things like that his enfuego system is unique although hard to utilize at this difficulty and uh, he needs a really strong, specific supporting cast, like make him awesome. Um, but Morbius, what's cool about him, uh, and I will put Morbius third for a couple reasons, but the cool thing about Morbius is you can build him in multiple different ways. And he's got a bunch of different mechanics that kind of borrow from other heroes that we've seen. And I guess that would probably be my biggest downside for the Morbius DLC is that we didn't really get introduced to anything new. Like, he's got the hunger meter, which is cool, but it's the exact same thing as Captain Marvel's buildup. And the only difference is he doesn't get better offense, he just applies one bleed, which is like, it's fine. It's it's fine, it's good, actually, because it, it complements his kit. It's just not a very unique new mechanic that we've been seeing with the previous DLCs, right? With the Ravenous and the... Um, in Fuego stack. So I'm very curious to see what the last DLC is going to be like. Uh, I believe it's Storm and I'm excited because I feel like she has a chance to come out and just do something awesome for the last of this DLC pack and kind of wrap things up nicely for us. So I'm looking forward to that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.